Hey, this is Brandon from ProPreacher.com here and wanted to share with you just a little tip that I have discovered that is helpful for me that may also be helpful for you. Well, I have been uh, speaking at a lot of different places the last few weeks. I've had at least three different venues that I went to preach at that are places that I do not normally go to that I have never been to before. And anytime that you're walking into a brand new venue for the very first time, you have no idea what to expect. You don't know what the layout of the room is gonna look like. You don't know if you're gonna be having a microphone or what kind of microphone you're gonna have, whether it's a podium mic, a handheld mic, a little on-ear thing, whatever it is, you don't know what it's gonna be. And you also have no idea if there's going to be a clock in the back of the room so you can keep track of your time. And maybe you you don't even know if there's gonna be screens that you can use or anything like that. So you've gotta be ready for anything. No mic, no screens, no clock, no problem. You gotta be ready to go. So all I had with me was my Bible, my outline for my talk and my watch, and that is it. And that is really all that you really need to be able to deliver a great sermon, right? All you really need is a Bible, but the other two things, having an outline where you've done some preparation work and having a watch so you can keep track of your own time, whether they have a clock there or not, is really, really helpful to have on you. So those are like my three absolute essentials that you have to have. Really, just a Bible, but if I had to pick two other things that you really need, it would be an outline for your sermon and a watch. Now the good news is that watches have come a very long way from your standard analog watches to digital watches to now what we have is smart watches with like the Apple Watch. And what I have actually is an Apple Watch. It's a Series 3, so it's not the newest model, but I've had this thing for a couple years. My wife got it for me as a Christmas gift a few years ago, and it's still running strong and it still works. And so if it's not broken, don't fix it. When I first got it, I thought it might be really helpful for things like going on morning runs that I do and exercising and other things, which it has been, or even listening to podcasts or to music. It's all good for all of that. But the, one of the best things that I found it for is it actually is incredibly helpful when I am preaching, especially when I'm going to preach in venues that I'm not comfortable with and venues that I'm not familiar with. And I need to make sure that I have a clock with me. And so I know a lot of pastors preach with a watch on, and I know that I've seen a lot more and more pastors nowadays using the Apple Watch, and I think there's a few reasons for that. And actually, Apple Watches have become so popular, they announced just recently, they made headlines that they actually outsold the entire Swiss watchmaking industry last year. And so, with the growing popularity of Apple Watches, with more and more pastors, I see them on their wrists, here is just a little setup that I have found that's really helpful for me for when I am preaching that I just wanted to show to you. The first thing you always wanna make sure you do anytime you're preaching with your phone and with your watch is you're gonna to wanna to put it on silent mode. And to do that, you just swipe up from the bottom, scroll down until you see the little bell and tap on that bell. It'll turn red, it'll get a line through it. And that's how you know that you are not gonna be disturbed with dings and beeps while you're preaching. You do not want that. Eliminate those distractions. Let technology be a tool, not a distraction. Also, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll up and click on that airplane button. That'll turn airplane mode on so you're disconnected from Wi-Fi, you're disconnected from cellular signal. If you have that, it's not gonna be getting a bunch of beeps and notifications and other things sent over from your phone. That's gonna make it so you are not disturbed at all while you're preaching. Very important to have. Now, when you do that, that's just something you're gonna wanna pop on every single time you're preaching. When you're done preaching, just turn them both off and you're back to normal. Before you preach, turn them both on. Make sure you do that. But here's what's really cool. When you get to customize your watch face, I was thinking about this and I was working through a bunch of different ideas. What's the best way to set up the Apple Watch to be most beneficial when you're preaching? And so if you long press on your watch, you're gonna wanna swipe all the way over until you get to new, hit plus. Then the one that I think is best, if you scroll all the way down to modular, Find the modular watch setting. The cool thing about the modular watch setting is it's probably one of the most customizable settings. So there you go, I've got my modular setting pulled open. Now if you long press on that, hit customize, and you could actually customize what they call complications. I'm not sure why they're called complications. It's a little bit complicated, but the cool thing about that is you can adjust your apps if you don't know how to do that. And so what I recommend doing, what my favorite thing to do is instead of my weather up here, I like to move it to timer. So once you find timer, you click on that. Then what I do, because you don't want a lot of other things distracting you, click on all the other modular spaces and just bring them all to off. All right. 
Now, if you swipe left, you can also pick your favorite color, whatever color you like. I kind of like the red. Then you just click the crown and you're back to normal. Click on your watch and there you go. And what this does is it sets it up so you have the clock in the top right hand corner and then you have a timer right in the middle. And if you click on timer, it just takes you to the timer app and you can pick one of the already preset times if you want to. So if you're a 30 minute sermon preacher or 15 minute sermon preacher, that's already preset. If you wanna go to something different like 15, like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you're gonna to need to go to custom. So you just go to custom, you scroll, you select your minutes, 25 minutes, let's say, that's a good time for a sermon. Then you just go ahead when you're ready to preach, you set up your custom time, you hit start and you click on your button and you go back. Right before you get up, you get this all set up. And now as you're preaching, You've got your clock in the upper right hand corner so you know what time it is. You know if you're running over the service or if you're getting close to the end of service time. you got the timer also counting down in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and just set my timer for like five seconds here. And the cool thing is that once this timer is done, so let's set that five second timer, hit start, go out. And the cool thing is now once that timer is done, it's going to silently go off and you're gonna start getting that haptic feedback, that vibration from the watch on your wrist, letting you know preaching time is over. So if you're a preacher who tends to go long in your preaching, then this is gonna be something that really helps you. You're gonna get a silent nudge. Instead of somebody in the back flagging you down, instead of someone in the back holding up like a five minute sign or, or waving and say, hey, wrap it up, you're gonna have your wrist just silently nudging you, letting you know it is time to finish your sermon. So now when I preach, I have a few different options. I have the current time that I can see at a glance and I can also set a quick timer so that when I'm out of time, the watch is gonna begin vibrating on my wrist, letting me know to wrap it up. Having this on your wrist while you're preaching is incredibly helpful. And then no matter where you go, you've got a countdown timer. No matter where you go, you've got a clock with you. And when you're preaching, you are ready to go. So that's what I use. That's how I set up my Apple Watch. And the cool thing about it, once you get it set up, you can just swipe over from your normal watch. You just swipe over to your preaching watch face and you're ready to go instantly. It's already set up for you. It's already saved for you. Anytime you preach, you just swipe it on over, get it set to your preaching watch face, hit the timer if you want to, or get rid of the timer if you just want a clock. And it's simple, minimal, you've got it all ready for you.